Hi everyone, Sandy Sidhu here from Sidekick PM. In today's Everyday Entrepreneur Series, I'll be interviewing Joyce Brewer of Mommy Talk Show. Joyce Brewer is an Emmy Award winning TV journalist and creator of Mommy Talk Show. In today's interview, she'll be going over how she transitioned from a nine to five job, came up with the idea of Mommy Talk Show using what she already knew, as well as some of the things she's learned along the way and the technology and tools that have helped her grow her business. So without further delay, I'd like to bring you Joyce Brewer. Hi, Joyce. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. I had to, I was trying to wait until my son fell asleep so I could go into his room and get this lamp, which I use to give me some light when I do interviews. Cool, no problem. So, um, why don't we just dive right in and you can tell us about uh, your background and, of course, how you came up with the idea for Mommy Talk Show. Okay. Well, I have um, been a TV news anchor for more than 10 years, uh, working at TV stations in Ohio, Missouri, Mississippi, and um, then I got married and pregnant all within three months' time. Wow. Wow. 2009. Yeah, we got engaged in April, married in May, and by July I was pregnant. You don't waste any time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, left my job as a news anchor in Mississippi. I knew I didn't want to go back to news. I was kind of burnt out. And, you know, had my son, stayed home with him. And probably about when he was about nine months old, I came up with the idea, like, I can't just sit here and let my talents go to waste, for lack of a better word. So I wanted to do a talk show. I wanted to monetize it, you know, and I was like, well, I don't have a studio. I don't have all these things. So I came up with a way to take my talk show to different businesses and promote them on my show um, as sponsors. Wow, that's, that's really cool. So how did you find the addition from, you know, doing the day-to-day nine-to-five to, you know, doing it on your own? Um, I mean, there's a huge learning curve because, you know, when I worked for a TV station, you know, you have people who all work together to put a newscast or a show on the air. Everything from graphics people to a technical director to salespeople who sell the commercials. But now it's like I do all of those things for my own, you know, online TV station, for lack of a better word. So... I mean, I have had management experience in TV, and I taught journalism on the college level, so all of those things kind of work together to help me figure out, you know, what my strengths are, what some of my weaknesses are, and, um, you know, use all that together to create a show. Right. And so you mentioned you're approaching businesses. Now, the theme of Mommy Talk Show, I'm guessing, is helping other mothers or, you know, finding local businesses that would appeal to, appeal to them. How do you find this working out for you? Um, you know, the first time I did my show, to be quite honest, you know, I had to do it for free because it was, you know, a new thing and people didn't really understand. And I went back to my chiropractor who had adjusted me when I was pregnant with my husband. I mean, pregnant with my husband. <laughs> pregnant with my son. And, um, you know, I approached her. I said, you know, I have this idea for a talk show. I'd like to come and, you know, promote that, you know, getting uh, adjusted while you're pregnant is healthy for you and your baby. And, you know, it's even healthy uh, post Partum. So each show I do is kind of tailored to that business and whatever it is that they want to promote in a way that is, you know, advantageous to moms, healthy for moms, convenient for moms, or fun. So the, the slogan is Mommy Talk Show, connecting Atlanta moms with businesses they'll love to talk about. Right. And it's good that you mentioned that you are based in Atlanta, but I'm sure a lot of the topics you cover can appeal to your audience as well. Oh, yeah. I have viewers, amazingly, all over the world. I've had someone from Australia post on my Facebook page that they watch the show. Nice. Um, which is great. <laughs> but from, you know, from where I am, I clearly, you know, I'm here in Atlanta, but there are lots of people who watch my show who watch me on the news in Mississippi and in other markets where I worked. Um, there are people who live in different parts of the country. Because, like you said, the topics are kind of evergreen right. and still relevant to moms 
But I would say the typical mom who watches my show is a mom here in Atlanta with a child or children under the age of five. That's great. I mean, you've identified clearly your target market, your niche, and you're going after that. So that's really uh, important when you're starting out uh, in a business. So what would you say, you know, before we get to the struggles and challenges, because that's something that, you know, everyone wants to know, why do you love it? Like what makes you wake up every morning and say, you know what, I'm going to go out to contact businesses, I'm going to make these shows and do these blogs, because I see, you know, you're really active on Facebook, and, you know, you're, you're really doing it, so how do you, what keeps you going? Uh, my son keeps me going, because it's important for me to be at home with him, and to still do play dates, and still do, you know, fun things, um, but what keeps me going is, I don't want to just let my skills go to waste, and I don't also want to have that gap in my resume that a lot of moms will have when they stay at home, whether it be for, you know, a few months or a few years. Um, and, you know, that's a personal decision. I find that it is definitely a struggle to, to juggle working at home and, you know, working your business. So a lot of things I do are very early in the morning or very late at night. Like, I've been up since a quarter to five. Wow. Um, I did take a nap for a brief 45 minutes while my son took a nap, but I'll probably be up till 11 o'clock tonight. So that is really, really tough. So there's, a, there's a lot of work behind the glamorous you know, TV show that a lot of people may not realize. Right. There really is. And, you know, it's still a learning curve even to show businesses why they should work with, you know, a quote unquote mom blogger or work with social media or pay someone to do their social media. You know, a lot of people are still used to, you know, traditional marketing or traditional advertising, which is fine, but it's also really, really expensive. Right. And you don't get the, you know, the ability for people to share what they like about you. When I have, you know, posts on my blog that, you know, I disclose are sponsored posts that this sponsor, you know, paid me to, you know, write about them and I give my honest opinion, um, someone can share that on Facebook, you know, tweet it, do all of those things. So the return on the investment is huge, but it's hard to kind of explain that to someone who's just used to, oh, well, I'm just going to put an ad in this magazine or I'm just going to, you know do something quote unquote traditional versus working with, um, you know, a talk show that's run by a mom blogger. Right. And I mean, just, you've already touched upon social media. Um, what are some of the tools and technology that have helped your business grow or that you've had to also learn so, and along the way? Well, I always tell people if it wasn't for Hootsuite and TweetDeck when I can schedule my updates on Facebook and Twitter and, you know, my other social media profiles, I would be lost. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, you know, when I'm asleep or taking a nap or at a play date, I can schedule all of those things out. So I'm still constantly having a presence on social media, even when I may be doing something with my son. So like you said, oh, Joyce, it looks like you're doing a lot. It doesn't mean I'm not doing a lot. But I kind of schedule those things so it really looks like I'm active and engaged. Right. And not to say that I'm not, it's just scheduled. It's, so it's I may not respond immediately. Time management is definitely one of those things that you have to incorporate and, and learn. Because for a lot of newbie entrepreneurs, it's something that they can easily get overwhelmed with where they don't really know. You know, they think they need to do everything and anything out there. But it's a matter of prioritizing and, like you said, taking advantage of these tools. Right. And, you know, I get distracted just like everyone else. I mean, as much as Facebook is a tool for my business, Facebook is a huge time sucker because you'll go on there and you'll start looking at people's pictures and doing things and it's easy to get distracted. So a lot of times, like this morning when I went to a coffee shop, you know, I was like, okay, Closing, you know, the Facebook window. I'm not doing that. I'm just working on what I'm working on. You know, I try to write lists of, okay, if I have an hour, what do I need to accomplish in this hour? If it's while my son is napping or while my husband and him are, you know, at the grocery store, what can I try to do in this little bit of time to really make the most out of it? And like you said, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you're doing a lot of things on your own and you may not have the money 
to hire someone. I mean, that's something that I'm, you know, definitely looking at because my son does does go to preschool, you know, one day a week or there's another, there's a co-work space here in Atlanta that's for parents and for kids. So I can go there and work while my son plays. So, but even adding up that expense, it's like, okay, well, could I just be home and try to get this done? So I have to try to justify, well, if I spend this money, what am I making? Mm-hmm. And uh, leading into that, you um, recently launched, launched an ebook. Um, tell us a little bit about that and what went into getting that uh, done. Well, I launched the ebook um, in October, and it really came out of the fact that a lot of people were asking me the questions that you're asking me. You know, how did you come up with the talk show, and how did you, you know, how did you turn it into a business? There were a lot of moms who were, you know, watching what I did, or moms in my play groups that were asking me questions. And, um, you know, I have friends here in Atlanta, a lot of people I met who are way more experienced in internet marketing than I am. And, you know, people were talking about ebooks. Well, you can write an ebook and sell it and market it. And I was like, okay. All I heard was additional income stream. <laughs> so I, you know, pushed forward. I, you know, wrote this book. It's really a survey from me and five other moms that I've met here in Atlanta, a couple of whom you met when you were here in Atlanta, right. who are friends of ladies who launched. And we basically just, I surveyed them about how they came up with their business ideas um, using skills that they already know. So it's called Use What You Know, A Business Idea Guide for Moms. It's not necessarily about, you know, selling someone else's products. It's about using your own skills. So there's a mom in my book who really, when I met her, she gave me the idea because I said, I did not know that that was a job, and I bet you there's someone else out there who doesn't know that's a job and would be willing to do it. So she has experience in higher education and college admissions. So she is now an independent academic consultant and uses Skype just like this to work with students all over the world and consult them on choosing schools, getting into schools, you know, colleges and grad school. And I was like, oh, my God. There could be another mom who's sitting somewhere who was a guidance counselor or did something in college admissions and may not know that she could do it on her own. Right. So talking to her and, like I said, myself and, you know, four other moms were all featured in the book. That's really amazing. So you're turning your experience into something that you can use and uh, teach and other people can benefit from it and in turn launch something of their own. And right. So, so then after I wrote the book, <laughs> I had a book signing event, which may sound weird for an ebook. I was like, okay, well, how can I maximize the exposure? So I did a book signing event. Um, and then the Fox station here in Atlanta came and did a story about me. Um, and one of the other moms focused in the book about, you know, just balancing everything, working from home, this whole trend of working from home. And um, so they did a story. And then uh, in less than two weeks, I'm going to teach a class to other moms. I'm going to give them a download of my book as part of the class and help them kind of flush out their idea of, you know, what their business idea is and how they can make it a reality. Wow, that's, that's really great. I like how things are spinning off into sort of sub-projects and other possible uh, income streams as well because you're, you're living it, so what better way to learn than someone who's actually doing it? Um, the other question that I wanted to, we kind of talked about a bit as well, so what, you know, what would be like your three top things that you'd want to tell someone who is starting out, who's thinking of, you know, kind of on the fence about should I do it, should I start it on the side while I'm still working, like what would you tell them? Well, I would say a lot of people who are working full time, you know, they do start their businesses on the side, which is, you know, I think that's the ideal way to start because you're not, um, you know, you still get your regular paycheck <laughs> while you're waiting on your business to grow. I mean, I had already quit my, quit my job and, like I said, got pregnant really quickly after I got married, so that wasn't an option for me, although I did do some part-time work while I was pregnant and right after my son was born. But starting on the side is great. Um, networking is ideal. Mm -hmm. Whether you're just in the idea phase, you know, just surround yourself with other people who are entrepreneurs, other people who are, you know, already working their businesses. I mean, one of the things that I say in my book is that I wish I would have, you know, 
worked as an assistant to another mompreneur, like shadowed her for a week or two, because if I would have done that, that would have given me a lot of foundation. Um, and I probably wouldn't have had such a big learning curve just launching my own business and doing what I had to do. Right. And then the third thing I would say is, you know, as hard as it is, I think about, you know, the people who are millionaires in this country or in this world. They didn't get that way by working someone else's job. They got it by launching their own business, you know, coming up with a product, doing something that is phenomenal and independent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as hard as it is now, I know that I'm building an empire. I mean, it's slow going. As much as you can say, oh, Joyce, you're on Facebook. And a lot of people say, oh, you're doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm not making that much money right now. But I know that the foundation I'm laying is going to give me that and most importantly, give me that flexibility that I don't have to, you know, punch a card at nine or five and, you know, drop my son off and, you know, not be with him all day because that's just I didn't wait 38 years to have a baby and then, you know, not be with him all day. That's what's important to me. And I like what you say as well on your blog that you're combining your passion and your profession and you're able to do that and, and as a result have a business that allows you to find time to pursue your pr profession as well as spend time with your, your family. Yeah, I mean, but it's still a juggling act because, you know, like I said, when we get off this call, I'll probably work for another hour or two and... My body clock wakes me up at five because my mind is constantly, you know, thinking about the next thing or what I could be doing and mm. about to launch affiliates for my book because there are people that have asked me, you know, do you have affiliates for it? So I'm going to launch a separate site just for the book. And if other people want to promote it for me, you know, I'd be willing to give them a commission. That's something that a year ago, Sandy, I would have never thought that I would have a book, have a separate site, have affiliates, having people interview me about it. I never <laughs> imagined it. But that's what's amazing. I mean, like they always say, you know, behind every overnight success, there's like several years of, you know, hard work that goes into it. And, you know, you have those milestones to look back at and say, hey, you know, you're going to have this show even, or I didn't have this ebook, and now a year later, look at you, you know, you've got a lot of things going for you. So uh, what else uh, exciting things can we see from you in 2012? Anything you want to share or, you know, you want to reveal? <laughs> um, Nothing huge. I'm working on, like I said, it's doing this class for moms. I'm going to do it, you know, maybe a couple of times in the next few months because there are moms who, you know, are all still working full-time jobs and want to launch something on the side. Um, I am going to be launching my co independent consulting site for videos um, that I'll do, you know, not even mommy talk show related, just either showing business owners how they can do their own videos and doing them for them if they like. And I really just want to take a vacation with my husband and my son and go to the beach. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got a lot of things uh, going on, and uh, we look forward to following your journey. So if you want to just tell us um, where we can find you online, a couple of places, and I'll obviously um, include them in the show notes, but if you just want to give us uh, a few links. Oh, sure. Well, my talk show is mommytalkshow.com. On Facebook, you can go to facebook.com slash mommy talk show. The same thing, it's at mommy talk show on Twitter and youtube.com slash mommy talk show. Okay. Right. <laughs> Kristen is possible. And um, like I said, I'm going to be launching the site for the book and my independent consulting site, but those aren't up yet. So um, really, Facebook is where I spend a whole lot of time. Great. Well, we'll definitely uh, link those up and uh, look forward to following your journey over the years to come. And uh, I really want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, share your insight with uh, me tonight and uh, look forward to chatting with you soon. Right. I hope you come back to Atlanta soon. I hope so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sandy. Until then, I'll see you online. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.